What's up everyone, Takedown here back with another WWE prediction video. This Sunday is going to be Fastlane and I really hate WWE lately because it seems that the WWE Raw and Smackdown before the pay-per-view, that's when they reveal all of the cards that are going to be happening for the pay-per-view, which sucks for me because that means I have to record these videos last minute, hence why I'm recording this one in my truck today. So as usual, I have all of the matches right in front of me, let's get right into this. So up first we have the kickoff match, which is Rey Mysterio versus Andread. This match here, I think it's going to be fast paced, a lot of high flying, I think it's going to be a little extreme, and I'm really excited for this match. I've always been a fan of Rey Mysterio, I love that he has returned, but I really wish, even though he has recently got the United States Championship matches and he has had opportunities for them, I really wish he'd win a title. Uh, once again in the WWE. I think that'd be awesome whether it's United States Championship, the WWE Championship, or after the Superstar Shakeup moving over to Raw and winning a championship. I think he deserves a championship. I'd even be happy with a tag team championship to be honest with you, but against Andread, Andread is still a rising star. He's moving up to the top, but I think this one here, Rey Mysterio is going to win. The next one is the Raw Tag Team Championships, the Champions the Revival versus Aleister Black and Ricochet versus Chad Gable and Bobby Roode. This is going to be an exciting triple threat tag team match. The Revival have, since they came up from NXT in my opinion, been on the bottom of the tag team division. The fact that they finally won the tag team championships, I'm really excited for that and seeing what they can do and where they're going to go is really exciting. But I predict before WrestleMania, they, or at least at WrestleMania, they're going to lose the titles and then get transferred over to SmackDown in the Superstar Shakeup. So this match here, however, against Aleister Black and Ricochet coming up from NXT, that's really exciting to see. And I think they're going to stick to the main roster. And Chad Gable and Bobby Roode, former champions. So this match, in my opinion, could go either way. And I'd be happy with it. If Chad Gable and Bobby Roode retained or won them back, I'd be happy. If Revival retained, I'd be happy. Or if Aleister Black and Ricochet won it, it'd be odd, but I'd still be happy. But my final prediction for this one is Revival, just because I want to see them get a lot of momentum going into WrestleMania and having a WrestleMania moment. I think that'd be fantastic. The SmackDown Women's Championship match, Asuka versus Mandy Rose. I think Asuka has been cleared to wrestle now. This match here, I'm going to give it to Asuka. That's my final prediction. I really would like to see Mandy Rose win it, but if Mandy Rose does, that means she's almost guaranteed a WrestleMania match. And I think right now she's not in the position to have that in the future for sure. Just not right now. The next match is the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match. Sasha Banks and Bayley versus Nia Jax and Tamina. This match is going to be very extreme in my opinion. Nia Jax and Tamina, I'm a huge fan of Tamina. I think she deserves her first WWE Championship, but I don't know if it's happening in this match. Nia Jax, I think I like this where she's in a tag team better because if she won the tag team championship, I'd be okay with that rather than a singles title. But against Sasha Banks and Bailey, their face right now, they are an amazing tag team. I think they're going to retain. That is my final prediction. Next up is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The Usos versus the former champions, The Miz and Shane McMahon. Now I said before, The Miz and Shane McMahon was an odd pairing to begin with, but the fact that they won the SmackDown Tag Team Championships is amazing in my opinion. I'm so happy that that happened. It was really weird, but I'm happy that it happened. But against the Usos, I think the Usos are gonna be going to WrestleMania because they won the championship. I don't think the Usos are gonna lose it to The Miz and Shane McMahon right away after the last pay-per-view. I see the Usos retaining and going into WrestleMania to face a new opponent. That's my final prediction for this match. The next one is the highly anticipated The Shield versus Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. I'm a fan of the Shield, but the fact that they got back just because Roman Reigns just returned after having leukemia, the fact that they, as soon as he declared that he had a leukemia and he left, they, uh, Dean Ambrose attacked Seth Rollins and now all of a sudden they're getting back together, I just think is really odd and I don't agree with it. I like the Shield, but I just don't like that the WWE did that that fast just due to the circumstances. But I am a fan of Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. I'm a fan of all three of those guys. But this one here, I'm going to go with what the fans want, and that is going to be the Shield winning. Uh, because that is the actual truth behind my prediction is I think the Shield is going to win. I'd rather have Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley win. I think those three might be moved over to SmackDown in the Superstar Shakeup. But my final prediction for this match is going to be the Shield. Next is Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. If Becky wins, she's going to WrestleMania and it's going to be a triple threat match with Ronda Rousey. That is what I wanted to see. Honestly, 
I wanted to see Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch one-on-one -on -one because we didn't get to see that at Survivor Series. I would have preferred that. I'm not a fan of Charlotte. I don't like that she got thrown into this, especially since she was on SmackDown just to be moved over. And Becky versus Charlotte for a championship, that's what we were seeing on SmackDown. So it kind of degrades the Raw women's division by taking two SmackDown women superstars putting them over to Raw and getting them championship matches right away. I think Becky deserved it because she won the Royal Rumble match. She can choose where to go. But Charlotte just didn't make sense to me. My final prediction for this match is going to be Becky Lynch because I think she's going to be making a triple threat match at WrestleMania. And I think Becky Lynch is going to win at WrestleMania. That's my prediction right there. And the last match is going to be WWE Championship match. Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens. It was supposed to be Kofi Kingston and Kofi Kingston has been going on a hype lately. First, the gauntlet match. Then the showing in the Elimination Chamber, he didn't win, but he did amazing, and he earned himself an opportunity to face Daniel Bryan for the mat, uh, for the championship. However, Vince McMahon had other plans and decided to return Kevin Owens at that time to go for SmackDown. Kevin Owens, uh, whenever they returned him, it was almost like he was heel because he was disrespecting Kofi Kingston. He just walked right past him and signed the contract. But then the next week, uh, he came out, and it was like he was trying to get over as face against Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan was the heel in the situation. It was really odd, but I like Kevin Owens either way. Just the fact that uh, Kofi Kingston got replaced, I think it should have been a triple threat match. And regardless at what happens, my final prediction for this match is gonna be Kevin Owens is going to win. And at WrestleMania, we might see Kevin Owens versus Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. A triple threat match, that would be phenomenal to see in my opinion. I would like to see that. Not necessarily that Kofi Kingston is gonna win, but that Kofi Kingston has a huge match at WrestleMania. I would love to see that. If that match does happen at WrestleMania, I think Kevin Owens would win. But my final prediction for this match is going to be Kevin Owens, just because I'm a huge fan of him and I honestly hate Daniel Bryan right now. Not the fact that he's healed, just the fact that Jeff Hardy, Rey Mysterio, and some of the others that returned never got a WWE Championship match, but Daniel Bryan, as soon as he returned, he did. So I'm not a fan of that so much, but we'll see what happens. Comment down below what you guys think is going to happen at Fastlane. I'm really excited to see it. Once again, sorry for me uploading this video late, but it's because not all of the matches were announced until the final Raw and SmackDown before the pay-per-view, so I couldn't record this video until now. Hope you guys do understand, but like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more WWE pay-per-view predictions. And I'm going to leave this video here, but I do want to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the description. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm getting tongue twisted here. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.